uh, welcome to the first of what I hope will be uh, quite a few drawing tutorials uh, with me, Duncan Beedy, the author and illustrator of The Bear Who Stared and The Lumberjack's Beard and other such books. So today I thought we'd start by learning how to draw the bear from The Bear Who Stared. Now, obviously, his key feature is his big staring eyes, so I thought that's a good place to begin. So quite easy to draw. Two circles with dots in the middle. Now when I first started drawing the bear, I imagined he was posing for a passport photo because um, I don't know if any of you ever had a passport photo taken, but they tell you to stare ahead blankly with an expressionless face, which is quite weird because that's not a natural way to be. So I drew the bear looking like that, and that's how the character came to life, really. So there we go, we've got some pretty blank staring eyes. And after that, we're going to do his eyebrows. Now, his eyebrows are very expressive in the story. Because he doesn't give too much away with his other features. So eyebrows are a good way of telling if someone's happy, sad, or bored, or excited. And his eyebrows are going to be quite flat, because they're... He's going to look quite starey and expressionless in this picture. So they're basically two rectangles and I draw some stripes in them. Next, his nose. Now his nose is a big triangle bit for the bridge of his nose. And you have a horizontal line and a curved bit. Now, um, when I've been drawing this before and been going through it with children, one of them said that his nose looks a bit like an upside down ice cream, which I suppose it does in a way. You imagine that bit's the cone here's the ice cream of course with it being upside down that can mean only one thing you've dropped it and it's gone splat on the floor so we don't want that to happen that would make you cry if anything would so we're going to color in the ice cream bit now which is actually his nose not ice cream there you go and now we're going to do his mouth a vertical line down and then two little diagonal lines for his mouth also Speaking of what it might look like, I sometimes think this looks like a matchstick man with no arms wearing a dunce's hat. But you might not get that analogy, so move on. So next, the muzzle around his mouth. It's just a sort of fuzzy dashed line to make it look furry. Like that. There we go. So we've got a quite good, starey bear face. Now we need the rest of his head. Uh, so we'll start with a little tuft of hair on, on top. There we go. Then we'll start to draw the top of his head. But before we go too far, we've got to remember his ears. So his ears are round with little bits of tufty hair like that, one on each side. Brilliant. And now we're going to go down. We're going to put a couple of zigzag bits in to show his fur. One on the other side. Obviously, if I'm going too fast, what with this being a video, feel free to stop, pause, rewind, whatever you like. And also, if you think I'm going too slow, you can uh, play in double speed and fast forward it if you like, if you're a really quick drawer. Uh, do what you like, really. So now, inside his ears, we have a little curly line, like so. One on the other side. Brilliant. And now all that's left is some little dashes to show his furry texture. Do them all over his body. Now later on, if you like as well, you could color your bear in. In my story, my bear is a sort of orange color. Not in any way a nod to Donald Trump, but that's just the color he is. Uh, but you could do him any color you like. You'd be brown, green, blue, whatever you fancy. So there we go, the bear who stared. Enjoy drawing it, and hopefully I'll be back soon with some more tutorials on how to draw Big Jim Hickory from the Lumberjack's Beard, and Percy from The Last Chip, and some other characters too. Okay, thanks for watching.